thousand fans coming out this type of week. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't know who was going to show up, but I think we, as, as coaches and team, we were not surprised uh, to see that many people out there, and uh, that's rare. Uh, that's rare this day and age in college football. So I want to start off thanking them uh, for being here. Uh, some of the positives, I would say the balance. Uh, that's something we always talk about, balance. I think we rushed for 309 and threw it for 286. So, you know, we talk about being our best for a balanced team. And uh, I'd say it definitely was a positive. I thought we were better on third down. I think we ended up 7 of 12. That was a big emphasis for the week. thought at times our tempo was better. Uh, really on some of those drives where we were running the ball, able to repeat some plays. And then, again, it's the third week in a row with some good explosive plays. I believe we had 10 explosive plays, runs over 12 or passes over 16. Uh, so that was a positive. That's been a big emphasis, obviously, uh, from last week. Uh, negatives, uh, you know, first time all year we've had the turnovers. You know, really, you know, we were good through the first two games with no turnovers, and then we go down on the first drive, and you know, we had a good drive going. It was just drive killers. You know, we want to get 80 plays offensively. I think we ended up uh, with maybe 77, and we had three turnovers. You know, so those each of those turnovers cost you at least a minimum of three plays uh, right there. And then, you know, I think there were also. Um, you know, some opportunities we had, uh, you know, a few of those drives where we kind of stumped our toe. Uh, so uh, I was proud of the way that we finished. You know, they, they went down and scored, and it was one of those situations, how are we going to respond? And, um, and it was good to see, really, there was a lot of backups in there as we went down there uh, on that last drive to finish. So always want to finish strong, so uh, that was a positive. You update the status of Kelly Bryant. Saw yeah, him walk everything off, right? I heard just very quick, just was a chest bruise. I'm sure Coach Sweeney will talk a little bit more, but as of right now, we're told it's just a chest bruise and we feel that he's going to be okay. Travis Etienne carried the load today. Yeah, uh, that's one thing we wanted to do is really challenge. We wanted to come out running the ball and uh, really challenge Travis and those backs. And I felt like they responded. Uh, you know, it's great to see what Travis can do when he gets the ball in his hand. You know, he's one of those guys that can score any time that he gets it. Felt like he ran hard. Uh, you know, they have a good scheme. They're trying to take away the run. They got a lot of guys in there, and uh, I thought he did a good job. And also thought Feaster had a couple opportunities and made some plays there to help us. It seemed like for a freshman, Justin does a really good job of running around and finding ways to, to get him. Yeah, I mean, he's he's one of those guys that just uh, when he gets his opportunity, uh, he makes the play. And I believe that was, if I'm correct, that was his second catch that he's had here. And, and Two catches, two touchdowns. So that was pretty good odds. That was awesome. He had today. He had three catches for over 100 yards, and uh, I mean, he's just really coming into his own. Really challenged him this week and learning the playbook and understanding everything, not just a couple uh, special, you know, things, but really understanding everything about his position. He really did a good job of that uh, this week and was able to go out and play and, and make some good plays. That was good to see. Do you feel like things maybe could have been a little bit? You were playing a lot of third string offensive linemen, second string. That, hey, we would have put up bigger numbers if we had left the first team out there, but we wanted to get guys' experience. To be honest, I felt like some of the backups did a better job when they were in there. They might have been a little bit more uh, hungry. I don't know. Uh, but you know, that was good to see. We wanted to challenge those guys. I mean, the game, you know, still. A lot of things going on, and uh, I mean, I, we put that second group out there, really second and third group uh, out there, and uh, it was great to see those guys go execute. And you know, the message to those guys is, hey, we're going to need you this year. It's a long year, you know, and guys get hurt. Uh, we're going to need you. There shouldn't be a drop off, and I felt like those guys did a good job today uh, when given their opportunities. So that was definitely a positive. Yeah, the rush for 300 yards. You know, you know, being that coach Sweeney challenge everybody yeah. this week in the running game. Can you talk about that? And what that yeah, uh, I, you know, that was definitely something that we we talked about. I think last week we had some explosive plays in the passing game, but really for us, like I said, to be our best, we got to be balanced. Got to be able to run it. And uh, you know, our goal going into the game was to have over 250 yards rushing. And uh, so I thought that was great to get, you know, and it was right there in the fourth quarter. Uh, I looked up there one time and we were maybe around 216. So I knew we were getting close and uh, those guys went and got it done in the fourth quarter. And that's definitely something positive uh, for us to build on. Do you, Kelly, you think that the um, storm talk all week maybe affected the guys a little bit early on? I don't. Um, I mean, I, I'd like to think not. Um, I, I think we had good practices. That's all I can go off of. I can't really, you know, judge whenever they leave us what they're thinking or looking on the internet and all that kind of stuff. But practice-wise, it was probably one of our better weeks of practice. Um, felt like the guys really were focused on us. Uh, you know, had a lot of things to get corrected 
from Texas a and Some of them we did get corrected, and some of them we still got some work to do. Uh, but I didn't really get a sense overall that there was a lot of distractions uh, from the players. Coach Sweeney was, you know, pretty confident to them that we were going to get an opportunity to play, and I think they they would have been shocked if we didn't get that opportunity. Jeff, when Kelly went down, what did you guys tell Trevor? Did anybody pull him aside and say it's, it's your boat? It's your, it's your, it's your yeah, boat. I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot to say other than it's your series because he's been playing so much.